This question is taken from the 2020 Department of Education booklet. A builder is completing 75 low-cost houses to reduce the water bill and each house will have a rainwater tank. The tank will be placed on a cubic concrete stand as shown below. We also have some information given at the bottom about the water tank. The water tank has a diameter of 1.7 meters and the height is 2200 millimeters. Furthermore, this is a 5000 liter tank. This is a water tank that is placed on a cubic concrete stand. Now the word cubic in the question comes from the word cube. And we know about cubes that the length, breadth and height are all equal. Determine the capacity of the tank. Now the word capacity means how many liters or milliliters or kiloliters are in this tank. Now we know that information was given to us in the diagram and it is 5000 liters. Explain the difference between diameter and radius. The diameter is the line that divides the circle into two equal parts, whilst the radius is the line drawn from the center to the circumference. Determine the radius of the water tank in meters. Now it's important that we know that the radius is half of the diameter. So if the radius is half of the diameter, we take the diameter and we divide it by 2 and that will give us the amount for our radius and that's 1.7 meters divided by 2 is 0 0.85 meters. Calculate the total surface area of the water tank. You may use the following formula and they've given us a formula there and all we need to do is substitute into the formula from our given amounts. So I write down the formula and I will substitute accordingly. And the value for pi in Matslet will always be 3.142. We've worked out our radius value. And remember that the radius is squared. So put your amount in bracket and don't forget to square it. Continuing with our substitution, we substitute the pi value. And then the radius value. Bringing us to our height value. Now for the height value, they've given us 2200 millimeters. And remember that we must convert it to meters because our radius is already in meters. So we must have one unit of measure. So by converting the 2200 millimeters into meters, we get 2,2 meters. For the first part of the calculation before the plus sign, we arrive at 4,54019. And the second part of our calculation after the plus sign in step two, we arrive at step 3, which is 11,75108 meters squared. Our final answer, 16.29. And remember, it's meters squared because it's surface area. Calculate the volume of the tank. If it is 80% full, you may use the following formula. There are two ways in which we could do this. But let us use the formula first and find the volume and then find 80% of that answer because our tank is 80% full. So in finding volume as our first step, we will use the given formula and we will substitute. Now we know the value for pi, so we will substitute pi. We will substitute our radius because we've worked it out to be 0 0.85 meters. And then we know our height to be 2,2 meters. And as I've mentioned, we have converted it to 2,2 meters from the 2,200 millimeters. Our calculation brings us to 4,994,209. And it is meter cubed because it is volume. We've worked out the volume thus far. And now we need to take that volume, which is the meter cubed part, and change it into capacity, which is liters. We know that one meter cubed is equal to a thousand liters. This is information that you must know and you must learn and keep on hand because sometimes the examiner may not give this to you, but it is expected that you know it. We multiply our answer by a thousand. This brings us to 4994,209 liters and this is our capacity. Remember, we've changed the volume now into capacity. We've worked the volume for the entire tank and converted that into capacity for the entire tank. 
But the question tells us that they want 80% of the tank. So now we need to take 80% of this amount that we've worked out. So finding 80% of our volume and capacity that we worked out, and we see that we have 3995,3672 liters, and this is 80% of the tank. When it is millimeter cubed, centimeter cubed, or meter cubed, it is volume. And when we convert this to liters and milliliters and kiloliters, then it is called capacity. The depth of the stand is 60 centimeter and the width is 0 0,6 meters. The builder stated that 0 0,216 meter cubed of soil is needed to fill up the stand verify by means of calculations if his claim is correct now we can use this given formula i have represented the given measurements in a cubic uh, diagram now we know a cube has all sides uh, equal the length the breadth and the height it is common for the examiner to give you different types of unit of measure by this i mean 60 centimeter and 0 0,6 meters now these are not the same, but we need to choose one in which we will work with. When working with the volume, we worked with meters. So we will do likewise and convert our measurements to meters and substitute into the given formula. Once we've converted all the units to be same to meters, it will be 0 0,6 times 0 0,6 times 0 0,6. And that would leave us to 0 0,216 meter cubed. Although we've worked out the volume, the word verify in the question means that we need to arrive at a conclusion from our working that we've done and provide an answer according to our working. Was the builder right by saying that 0, 0,216 meter cubed of soil is needed to fill up the stand? And from our calculations, we've arrived at the same answer. So therefore, E is corrected as indicated in the answer you see. Oh,